Hello everyone, Tina here. Welcome to Photo Plays YouTube channel and welcome to Tuesdays with Tina. I'm Tina Smith and today we're going to create a fun balloon filled card using the balloons die set along with the balloons stencil set. They're meant to coordinate together and I need birthday cards. Birthday cards are probably our most popular card that we give out and so I thought we'd make a fun um, birthday or celebrate card today using both of these sets. We're going to actually double stencil and to do that we're going to bring in a couple more stencil sets. We have the three piece dot stencil set and then we have the four by nine stripe stencil set. So we're going to um, create some patterns on our balloons. I trimmed down some cardstock. These are just A2 size panels and we I want four different color of, of balloons um, three different balloons. So we're going to end up with 12 balloons in all. And I have pixie spray already behind my stencil. This way, it, pixie spray is like a light tacky spray that helps your stencil stick to cardstock. So I have this. I take, put that down on my panel and then I'm going to use some post-it note tape and mask off the balloons that I don't want. Um, and you could use any kind of tape to do this. Scratch paper would work great too, but post-it note, but any kind of low tack tape I would suggest works great for this. Now, after we have our balloon masked off, I'm going to use the oblong. There's heart balloons, there's uh, wiggly balloons. Um, I'm going to use the oblong, the circle, and then the traditional style balloon for my project today. And to do a little ink blending, our first layer, I'm using two shades of oxide ink. So you want a light and a dark. This first color is Kitsch Flamingo. And after we have that color added, we're gonna bring in our first stencil set and do a little bit of pattern making um, by layering another stencil on top of our existing stencil. Um, the three piece dot stencils have three different um, sizes of dots. I took the smallest one for the pink balloons. And you know what, while we're at it, we're gonna mask off one more balloon and do two at a time. Save a little bit of time here just going to add a little bit of that kitsch flamingo to that uh, traditional balloon here. Okay, once we have our ink, our lighter ink added to our balloons, we're going to add our stencil. This stencil also has pixie spray behind it, but I'm going to hold it down just in case because when you do layer two together, it has a tendency to want to shift. So just hold it down with your hand, take your darker ink, and I'm using a blending brush, but you could use a um, blending tool if you wanted to. And I'm adding my darker ink right on the top. And I love the two-tone look of this. You just remove your first layer, then you can pick up your second stencil and you have some patterned balloons that are really fun. I'm gonna do the same thing with that circle balloon in that open area on the bottom corner. And I'm not gonna add more post-it note tape. I'm just gonna use the tape that we already used. Um, this is just, just a great way to, to use up those pieces. And we're going to use these actually for all of our balloons today. I'm going to add my Kitsch Flamingo once more. I do wipe off my, um, my blending brush in between because I have that darker ink. But we'll add our light pink and then our darker ink after we add our um, polka dot stencil right over the top. I love creating patterns and I think um, they just add a lot to your projects. Once we have our pink balloons done, we're going to continue on. I'm going to use the same um, balloon stencil, but we're going to switch up the pattern a bit and the colors. For this next balloon, we're going to use some diagonal stripes. I think will work great for this. And then two shades of oxide inks in blue. Starting with tumbled glass, I masked off my balloon. We'll add that light blue and shade that in. We'll take our diagonal stripe stencil, lay it right over our balloon, and then we'll go over this balloon with our darker blue, which is Salty Ocean. And then this is gonna create a tone on tone pattern for these balloons. And I'm gonna use um, the two same balloons that we used before and just continue the process. And I love, I love how festive this looks. So that's one panel. I, I need to bring in another panel and we'll just continue on with our next two balloons. And I'm cleaning off my stencil as I go. We'll just add our 
tumble glass first, add our second stencil, add our salty ocean to get those stripes in there, and then our blue balloons are good to go. I'm loving how easy this is. Now, if you wanted to go full blown um, balloon making um, process, <laughs> I suggest even maybe doing a six by six panel of cardstock and doing all of the balloons at once. Um, this way you don't have to do any masking either. Maybe masking off the detail areas of the balloons on the stencil, but that's it. Next, we're gonna bring in shades of green. Twisted Citron is my lightest color, and then we're gonna add the darker color with mowed lawn, and this time we're using the horizontal stripes. And I'm doing the same three balloons for this one. Bring in another piece of cardstock and just continue on here. Next color combination is two shades of orange. Lightest shade is carved pumpkin. We'll add color here to these two balloons and then we're gonna bring in um, we're going to take the, the largest polka dot stencil in the three dot stencil set and add some super big polka dots to these balloons. I think we can get a couple dots in here and then we'll add darker color of orange with ripe persimmon. So we have small dots, large dots, diagonal stripes and horizontal stripes and we have pink, blue, green and orange. I think that's a nice variety and I think it'd be a universal card. Great for um, any gender, which is nice. <laughs> I have room for one more of my orange balloons and I'm just going to continue the process until all of my balloons are done and then we can die cut. I'm going to take the coordinating die set. It's very easy to line these up and if you guys want to add strings, the stencil set in the balloon set has a um, you could color in a balloon string if you wanted to and then die cut that out. I'm not gonna add any strings, I'm just wanna balloon filled background today. But we'll line these up and die cut out all 12 of our balloons. And while I'm at it, I'm taking some gold and silver cardstock and we're gonna take those balloon dies that we have here and die cut out some gold and silver balloons. So once everything is die cut, you can see we have quite a few balloons, enough to fill our background. Um, I have a panel. This measures four and a, four inches by five and a quarter, so it's going to be slightly smaller than my card base. And we're just going to take our tape runner and start adhering balloons, kind of in a pattern. I don't want two two pinks next to each other. Um, I do want four different colors of balloons. Um, that are popped up with foam adhesive. So when we get, we're gonna add our blue balloon here. And then when we get to our pink balloon, I'm gonna layer this pink balloon on some gold cardstock. We're gonna offset it a little bit, just to add a little bit of festive and playfulness. Um, it's gonna give us a little extra little detail. And then we'll flip this around and then add some foam adhesive behind it. So by the time we're done, we're gonna have four balloons that are four different colors that have that gold and silver behind them and they're popped up. This is gonna give me just a little extra dimension and um, I think it's just gonna be really fun. I did have a couple extra balloons that I did tuck underneath um, some of the balloons that were directly on my panel. Now I have some open areas, no worries, because we can use the leftover pieces that we're trimming off to fill in those open areas on our card panel. We'll just trim these off and then I have one little extra area here. I think this orange one's gonna fit perfectly. We'll add some adhesive behind here and just tuck that underneath our popped up balloon. And we have a balloon filled background and you know what, sky's the limit. If you wanted to go with blues and greens and yellows for, um, for boys or pinks and purples for girls, I think that would be fabulous too but I love the little sparkle that's shiny behind there. Now our panel is done. We're gonna set that aside and we're gonna work on our sentiment. I'm using the um, Today Sentiments stamp set along with the coordinating die set. Love these sets. There are so many sentiments out here. There's a Celebrate, there is Wish, that today we're gonna to use today, <laughs> but um, I love these sets. Now I am taking the shadow die, cutting that out with white cardstock, and then for my sentiment, we're gonna stamp um, Hooray 4, 
and we're going to stamp that on that same white cardstock with black ink. Now for today, the um, not the outline, just the regular sentiment that says today, I'm using some black adhesive back to fun foam. If you don't have black fun foam, take some black cardstock, die cut it out three times, and layer this together to get that dimension that the uh, fun foam is going to add. I chose fun foam because it's just going to be easier, um, and it's going to, um, although fun foam, let me tell you, fun foam's a little tricky because it does lose its shape sometimes, but I'll show you how I use fun foam with my sentiment dies. I'm just going to line up my sentiment strip die set. The nice thing about this die set, it coordinates with all the other um, sentiment stamp sets. But I die cut out my Hooray 4, and then I have my outline for today, and then I left my sentiment that says today in that fun foam. What we're going to do is take the craft pick and punch out all the pieces that are inside the A, the Y, the O, and the D. We don't need those pieces. And then once we have all of those removed, we're going to take them off of our craft mat because otherwise I will have them stuck to my arms and behind the card. <laughs> so let's, let's put these away. Now we're going to flip over our fun foam, remove the release paper off of our sentiment that says today. Okay. We're going to take our outline and then line it up behind our fun foam. The release paper on the for, on the black fun foam is all intact except for the today. We're going to press it down really good and then all we have to do is lift off the negative piece of that black fun foam and then we have, for the most part, it's perfectly positioned. I do have to adjust our Y here, but this, this way the fun foam keeps the shape. That's my little tip and trick with fun foam and sentiment dies. <laughs> But again, if you don't have the black fun foam here, you can always die cut out your sentiment three or four times with black cardstock and layer them together just to get that dimension. We're going to flip over our sentiment and we're going to add some foam adhesive behind it and also our Hooray 4 strip. And then we're going to bring in our card base and adhere our background to our card base. Just using our tape runner, we're going to add it to all four sides. I like to go four sides and then one diagonal stripe in the middle and then we'll add this to our card base. And you can see it leaves me a little bit of a border. I like this on my cards. If you want to go all full background, you could, um, but I like to do that white edge. I'm going to remove the release paper off of my today and also my hooray for layer those on my card. And I think that looks so fun. I think this would be great for graduation too, if you wanted to. It's kind of like a celebrate card. Um, I am gonna finish it off because we have the gold and the silver that are offset in the balloons in the background. I thought some gold and silver stars would work out perfectly. I've had these stars in my stash for quite a while actually, but another alternative would be if you have um, star dies, use that same card stock that you used to die cut out those silver and gold balloons and then add just some die cut stars. I think that would work out great. Whenever I do place my sequins, I like to place them first and then glue. I just think it's a lot easier, but I love the way this turned out. And again, you could customize it with any colors that you would like. You could do three tones of blue would be fabulous, I think. But I thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a fabulous rest of your day. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.